All right, John. Hi, Logan. How you doing? Jam you doing Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Sorry. Um, so, I mean, really, it's been it's been four years. I mean, I have graduate school with the movie also, so I feel like I'm a graduate. But I, I'm looking at your career, uh, John, and, and you've been on screen more than 20 years. And you, between you and Ashley, I have the most musical background of anybody. Was it your idea that you pushed this musical thing this season? Was, was this your doing? No, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, just fortunately, like I was saying a second ago, I, you know, I've auditioned for a lot of musicals and never really panned out. You know, I play music every day and I'm kind of known to, to make acoustic little recordings and send them to people. And uh, no, uh, but when they told me, when, when Justin, I asked, I think my idea was like, I was like, hey, you know, we've never gone full Fellini before. And he was like, well, we're gonna do a musical. And I'm like, that works too. <laughs> so I just tried to embrace it, you know, whatever they were gonna throw at me. I was like, now I get to sing and dance. And, you know, I got to, you know, come up with like the arrangement for the song that Logan and I did together uh, with Chris and, you know, uh, I, I, we're just lucky that everyone was very musically inclined. Yeah. Is there a bigger story here? What do you mean? The Varsity Show. Is the order involved? You're announcing it at caucus tomorrow, right? I want to film it and everything else that happens. I want to make my senior thesis a documentary about the Varsity Show. What's your angle? You're about to attempt something that's never been done before. It's epic. And I need something I can afford to shoot that's also compelling enough to start my career once I get out of here. Troy, you're about to make history. Let me cement your legacy. Logan, we've, we've loved you on screen for, for a minute now. And I know now, I think you've done uh, 40 episodes here with, um, with Dear White People, but you did 75 episodes with Meet the Browns. And I wanna know like how, when you look at those two experiences, like how, the, the, how is it different? I mean, how, you know, what's, what, what's the big differences in those two sets and experiences as an actress? Well, I mean, I had two other series between them. So I, I mean, I, I can compare all of these. I think in general, mm, the, the, dif the difference that I've experienced on the Dear White People set is, um, it, it's just always felt very meaningful. Not to say that anything else I've been on hasn't, um, but this just very intentionally has always felt like what we were doing every day when we showed up to work was important stuff like you know as an actor sometimes you show up and you have your lines and you your coffee and stuff and you're like yeah we're making entertainment but when I show up to work um at, on your white people set it's like mm, this matters <laughs> that and I think that's the difference and, and it's not just me that feels that way it's every other cast and crew member um which makes and creates an energy of um of like gravitas like it's it's serious but it's fun like it, it just creates a different environment that i don't that i haven't been on or been around on a set before uh atlanta you know it's kind of been an entertainment hub for a minute now but it it first got known for its sound and the music and then now they're doing a lot of films and tv there did that have anything to do with facilitating you chasing this dream as an actress um since you was born there like how, what was the synergy with just you and Atlanta and the way Atlanta changed over the years to your career now? I mean, I think uh, Atlanta's influence on me as a performer is it, just always added to, but I think that really for me, it was my parents like supporting me. That's, that's always like, you know, pushed me into being a performer uh, because that's what I wanted. Um, but you know when I when I was 14 starting off there was no uh film and television industry in Atlanta there was music oh yeah there was music uh for sure like Jermaine Dupree runs the city like they run the town but um yeah I had to leave Atlanta just to you know be on this journey and um 
you know, now you go back to Atlanta and there's the, the yellow signs on every corner that are pointing you in the direction of a, of a film crew. Like it's a different place. It's a different world. If I was 14 now, I wouldn't have to leave. That's very different. Well, I, I love the, you know, going to college with you guys here at, at Winchester for these four years and can't wait to just keep following you guys wherever y'all go in your career. Appreciate the time. And I uh, can't wait till we see each other on the other side of these virtual windows again in person. So thank you for all of your interviews. Cheers, Jamal. Thank you.